Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Wednesday the 7th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left, okay? So it is a general reading, okay? So what do we have? Angels, spirits, guides. And I do release these videos a little early because some people are behind the UK, around the world, some people are way ahead. So it makes sense to release these as early, a bit earlier. Oh, nice energy. We have expecting miracles. I mean, that's absolutely beautiful. Miracles are blossoming in my life. There's definitely a beautiful energy there. It's a blessing from the universe. Expect a miracle. Something is opening up for you. Um, dwelling truth. Could be standing in your truth. I stand in the light of truth. It feels that some of you, I mean, I like the hands, you know, being open to, open to receive some kind of blessing. And the Lotus Flower is spiritual, spiritual awakenings, new beginnings. I mean, I said that before, but there's definitely an energy. I mean, even with, I mean, it, well, it looks like laurel wreath, some kind of victory, celebration coming your way. I'm seeing a lot in that card. Okay. What do we have, please, angels? What is the message people need to hear the most for the day? Communicate clearly. <laughs> That could be your internal communication. It can also be um, externally communicate clearly. You're being blessed. Could be to do with speaking your truth. I'm getting this message of don't doubt yourself here. Somebody's doubting themselves. almost like so I'm definitely getting this energy if you if you're doubting yourself don't you know it's almost kind of like you're being told to see you as the universe sees you you know if you you know this star energy is, is feeling quite strong with that card because you're being watched over blessed there's definitely an energy of opening to receive here Okay, what do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message for the day? Wednesday the 7th, thank you. King of Wands. Judgment. The Empress, love the Empress energy. Okay. Five of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> wow, okay. That's a powerful combination. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness me. Um, the Moon. Car oh my good. You know, Card of Hidden Blessings. There's definitely an energy of Karmic Rewards here. Wands, it might you know this can be somebody now sometimes the king of wands represents somebody in their power um a leader somebody who is very successful a go-getter and it feels like this person who felt so in control so on top of it so successful there could have been some loss regret looking back uh, something that's getting them down here. Male or female energy with this King of Wands. This is generally somebody who is a person of action, who understands how to take their lead. It feels, for some of you, it's been difficult to move on from something that was causing you a challenge to move on from. We have the three of cups here that are full on the floor and we have the two cups full of uplifting opportunity. 
there's definitely an energy of hope here there's still hope but you can't see it because this dark cloak is a cloak of negativity of pessimism of something that makes you feel down and continually focusing on it to the point where you're not seeing the potential around you now this can be about loss i mean this can be to do with job loss this can be to do with um regret you know some kind of regret there's absolutely an energy of now is somebody could be feeling like that this could be a person male or female energy uh, but this can also be an energy of now is the time to take the lead now is the time to take back your power because there's definitely an energy of forward movement it's time for the grand visions it's time for focusing on how you want to move forward it it feels the universe wants you to do that because something's going to happen here which is giving you a reason it, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor good luck good fortune and this is the call to action with judgment Judgment is the wake-up call, the call to action. So somebody who is staring at the past, this is the wake-up call to say, no, it is time for you to take control of this situation and to look forward because the wheel of fortune is turning in your favour and the universe wants to bring karmic rewards into your life. It's your time to receive. The wheel of fortune is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It's also to do with luck. And certainly with this energy, judgment. I mean, judgment is, we have the awakening, awakening of the souls here from the coffin, you know, where everybody is being stepped up, where everyone is stepping out of the coffins to be judged. This is the, the, the awakening of the souls before they, they get into heaven and such like. So there's definitely an energy here of, of there is some kind of call to action that the universe is wanting you to take a wake-up call because it's like the universe wants to bring in good fortune good luck expansion growth into your life it feels very beautiful things are opening up this can be to do with opportunity so it's time to move on from whatever this was And there's definitely an energy of expect miracles. Well, I definitely see that here. Um, it feels in this situation, this is the wake-up call because good things want to come into your life. Now, interestingly enough, what I'm feeling with this energy as well is there could be an element of coincidence today. Um, it's not coincidence. It is all to do with divine timing. Things happen when they're meant to happen. And for some of you, something could happen today, an event, uh, news, information, bumping into somebody, uh, someone getting in contact with you, calling what you will, but it's requiring you to act. And this is about don't think twice about acting because it's a blessing. Uh, so there's definitely an energy of now is things are turning in your favor. Just make sure you're looking in the right direction. The Empress energy is the promise of something wonderful. Uh, Venus in Taurus energy, she is, everything is right, the setting is right, the soil is right for seeds to be planted. Um, this can be in terms of new love, this can be in terms of new money areas coming your way. She's an abundant energy and she's an energy of not lacking for anything. So there's definitely an energy here of there's something that you need to pay attention to, nurture, um, tend, because there's real potential with it. There's real promise around you when the Empress appears. She is all, she's a number three, which is the beginnings of manifesting something in tarot, the beginnings of making something happen, um, the first signs of it. You know, it's that kind of energy. And she's a big energy because she's major arcana. 
Now, interestingly enough, I'm also getting there could be a powerful female that you're meeting today as well. Uh, my readings can resonate a few days after, generally a few days. So just bear that in mind, but there could be a powerful female. Now, for some of you, it might be in terms of business. Nine of Pentacles is a card of material success, uh, self-sustaining energy, somebody who's worked hard to really reap success, material success, reward. They've earned every single one of those pentacles by patience, perseverance. If you see the journey of the pentacles energy, you know, there's definitely an energy of slowly but surely you build up the material gain. And this is where you're feeling the abundance. It's a personal achievement energy, the nine. So there's definitely an energy of a personal achievement or accomplishment. Can be in terms of money, career, finances. Very, very good energy in that respect. So opportunity, I mean, things may be opening up for you. There's a reason to take action here. An event may happen in whatever context for you. And it's all divinely timed. And it's all to do with karmic rewards. And it's all to do with now is the time. Now is the time. The Empress is saying everything is ready for this abundance to come into your life. So absolutely beautiful energy. So yes, this can be to do with money, career, financial areas. Very beautiful indeed. The moon energy is even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. You know, things happen that are beyond your control sometimes. And there's definitely an energy of now is the time to just trust your intuition. Um, because this is a card of hidden blessings. It is a card of hidden blessings. Yeah, oh my goodness. Uh, look, the four of cups, it can be somebody may be offering you something. It's the divine offering you a gift. Um, but there is some kind of offer with the four of cups energy. And there is definitely some kind of energy here. You need to take action towards it. You know, the four of cups can be boredom. Um, it can be apathy. It can sometimes be about someone thinking about taking action but not doing anything. There's definitely a divine nudge energy here of now is the time to, act, to take action because there is some kind of opportunity or direction or path that the universe is steering you towards that is leading you towards some beautiful abundance here. Yeah. So just trust that. I mean, this is a card of surrender, trust as well. Um, very, very beautiful energy indeed. Okay. So what do we have, please? Yeah, <laughs> we've got wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Very nice energy indeed. I'm going to pull one more. Yeah, you see, protection. You are being protected. I mean, there is karmic energy here. Um... The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic prote protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Isn't that lovely? It definitely feels for some of you that there are things going on beyond your reason, beyond your logic, beyond your perception, because it's, uh, there's a lot of divine orchestration here. But this is about trust. Trust your own practical capabilities here. It's time for to be nudged. It feels in a specific direction because this is the call to action, the wake up call. There is good fortune, good luck around you. For me, it feels like there could be some coincidence today, a few days like ahead of the reading, but I definitely feel for some of you, definitely feel for some of you that this is definitely an energy of receiving, receiving some kind of karmic reward from the universe powerful powerful energy it doesn't feel like this was fair whatever this five of cups was it doesn't feel like it was fair because generally i get these cards when it wasn't fair but it is within your power to take control of now how it's affecting your own internal energy so let's just clarify that five of cups 
let's just clarify that five of cups please let's just clarify the five of cups thank you yeah you see it came out it came out reversed loss of hope loss of faith yeah someone's lost hope and yet the five of cups is all is not lost there is still hope around you even though you can't see it even though the full picture eludes you you're being protected powerful energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful day for you all and i will see you next time thank you